Let me introduce a neutral density filter that fits every lens. One that does not impair image quality, but instead improves it by eliminating all noise. An ND filter that is even able to render motion blur. It is about time to explore one of the most impressive features of the OM system OM1, the Live ND Computational Mode. My name is Thomas Eisel, I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. When working with the OM1, eliminating all image noise and extending the exposure time without stopping down the lens only requires the press of a function button. This expert guide, which is part of my extensive series of videos on the OM system OM1 here on YouTube, will explore all technical and practical intricacies of life and the Let's get started. Live ND is a computational mode that replicates the effect of a neutral density filter. This mode is only available in manual or shutter priority. You can select a neutral density value from 2 to 64. In this mode, the OM1 uses the electronic shutter only. There are two limitations that you have to be aware of when using the Live ND function of the OM1. First, you cannot use a flash in this mode and second, the upper sensitivity limit is ISO 800. To a degree, Live ND is capable of pre-rendering motion blur and making it visible in live view. This setting is optional. There are two ways how you can activate and configure live ND shooting. The first option is going to the menu, camera menu 2, and there you find live ND shooting. You can turn the feature on and off, you can select the desired ND number, and you can also turn the live view simulation on or off. In live ND shooting, the OM1 records a number of consecutive images equal to the set neutral density value. By doing so, the exposure time is multiplied, mimicking the effect of a regular ND filter. As sensor readout speed is limited to around 1 120th of a second, a minimum total exposure time is required. So for example, if you set live ND to ND2, the exposure time is doubled and the camera records two images. So each of these images takes around 1 120th of a second. So 1 120th of a second times 2 equals around 1 60th of a second. And that's the minimum shutter speed that you have to set when using ND2. The great thing is that you don't really have to worry about that as the OM1 automatically limits the selectable minimum shutter speed. Here is a reference table showing you all the available combinations. The captured images are composited in camera in a way that is very comparable with frame averaging. The result is then saved as a single file, either JPEG, RAW or both. As there is no gap between each individual frame, the result looks like a single exposure taken at the set shutter speed. Live ND does not only simulate the effect of a neutral density filter, but also brings a significant image quality advantage to the table. Like regular frame averaging, Live ND decreases luminance and chromatic noise. The higher the neutral density setting, the more significant the noise reduction. At higher settings, like ND16 and higher, the resulting images are practically free of any noise.
Life ND expands the high fidelity dynamic range in the shadows by about one stop thanks to reduced image noise. However, much like in other computational modes, the highlights clip earlier. So at ISO 200, avoid placing highlights above plus 3 EV. Interestingly, in Live ND, very dark shadow areas are prone to clipping effects as a result of the composite process, especially at higher ND settings. The affected areas contain no image noise, but are completely black, without any color or structure. Expect areas exposed to minus 5 EV or below to be affected. This test scene was underexposed by three stops and brought up in post-production. You are looking at an image captured with Live ND64. Let's zoom in. The grayscale is almost noise-free, although the image was underexposed. The further we move to the right, so the darker the grayscale, the more we see clipping artifacts in the shadows. Moving very bright elements in the frame can cause artifacts in the composited final image. The higher the ND setting, the higher the number of possible artifacts in the frame. So setting a high ND setting can help to conceal the effect if the bright elements do not move too fast. Live ND can be used like a regular neutral density filter. So you can select longer exposure times without setting a smaller aperture, therefore mitigating the negative effects of diffraction. Also, Live ND has an advantage over a physical ND filter. It does not impact the image quality negatively as you are not putting an additional optical element in front of your lens. Also, Live ND can be used with lenses usually not suitable for neutral density filters because they have curved front elements like some ultra-wide and fisheye lenses in the Micro Four Thirds line up. When photographing still subjects, Live ND can be used to capture noise-free images in camera without the need of frame averaging in post-production. The results can be reviewed on location, giving you more control and certainty compared to traditional frame averaging done in post. When using Live ND, a tripod is recommended. If you don't have one, you should at least enable handheld assist. The more you stabilize the camera, the better. Because of Live ND eliminating all image noise, the result is actually very sharp. So even the slightest camera movement is visible in the final result. Even though the OM-1 has an excellent image stabilizer, it will benefit greatly from a stable platform when using Live ND. As clipping can occur in both the highlights and the shadows when using Live ND, taking spot meter readings is advisable to ensure proper reproduction of critical image areas. Here is the dynamic range scale I recommend using. Placing the shadows not lower than minus 4 EV ensures excellent color reproduction. The highlights should be kept below plus 3 EV. Let me show you how this is done in practice. For this demonstration, I've set up a challenging studio scene. On the right, you can see an LED lamp pointing towards the camera, which is turned on. And on the left, in the shadows, you see a black Nikon camera body. Our goal is to capture this studio scene noise-free and with all image elements 
in the high fidelity dynamic range of the OM-1. The camera is in manual exposure mode. Let's turn the live ND on and set it to a value of 32. This will give us practically noise-free results. Let's get a meter reading of the LED over here. I'm moving the AF point around and therefore also the spot meter and we can see we are above plus 3 EV. That would lead to clipping, so we have to stop down a little. And plus 2.7 is actually fine. Plus 2.3 is even better. So we are in the high fidelity dynamic range here. Now let's get a spot meter reading of the Nikon over here. I've moved the focus point around and you can see that the internal exposure meter indicator is blinking because the Nikon is now below the minus three threshold for the exposure meter. There is a neat little workaround how to get a proper reading. Open the exposure meter options and select spot shadow. This biases the meter to minus three EV. And now we have minus three EV minus 0.3 EV means a total of minus 3.3 EV over here. So we are still in the high fidelity dynamic range of the live ND mode, which is from minus 4 EV to around plus 2.5 EV. We can now take the shot. Don't worry about the image looking underexposed. This is just the JPEG preview. The final image will show a full tonal scale from the deepest blacks over here to the brightest whites here in the LED. With live ND, a noise-free image, even under difficult circumstances, is easy if you know how to use the spot meter. What I really love about the OM system OM-1 is that it allows me to do many things in the field that I used to do in post, thanks to some very advanced features. Live ND is exactly one of these features. The possibility of performing fast, reliable frame averaging on location and examining the results right away is just great. You should definitely integrate this function into your workflow as well. It is worth it. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.